Justin from Stonewoods Farm here today. We've got a quick little project we need to do. We need to end up running some barbed wire on one of our fences. So the whole plan today is to get a little rack to be able to hold this barbed wire so that we can unravel it and stretch it out. So let's get started. So my plan is to try and take um, a couple of these salt treated boards here and put them together like feet and put four by fours here and here and then run the pipe between the four by fours just something that gives it a solid base and i'll probably take this board and try and reinforce here and here just to give us something to pull against so i met my chop saw and what i want to do is come over here and set this thing to 45. like so so now that we're at 45 we want to cut a couple angles here so basically we want to come down a little bit and we end up want to end up flipping this guy around make another cut Alright, so now that I have my supports cut, basically you got, you know, our corners here. We got one for each side. And all you want to do is just get these things lined up so that they're flush. And then we're going to pre drill those and send a screw through. Our two stands. And basically the whole thing here is we're going to need to spread these guys out wide enough that we can fit our pipe in here from here to here. And what we're probably going to do is put a cross member here, you know, here to here to keep the spread. So we're going to need to measure our roll, which our roll is about... It's about nine inches so let's just say a foot to give us an extra room to play and we'll measure a foot here and bring this one in a little bit so let's just do 13 just so that we know we'll clear it and then let's measure here to here so we know we got about and to make things easy we know we got about 24 inches so let's just make it 24 inches for easy math and cut two supports so what we want to do now is go ahead and measure 24 mark 24 on your board and i'm just going to line them up and cut them together all right so now that we're here we want to have our board and we're just going to line it up here and there and that way we know there'll be space the same since we just cut these these boards right here to 24. We have our base made and this thing will hold up pretty good and now what we need to try and do is take our wrought iron bar and we're going to want to cut through here so that the barbed wire can go right here. I'm gonna go down three, and then go over to one and three quarters, almost, yep, right there. So now I'm gonna come through. And what I'm going to do is find out where. So it's about at two and a half. And we'll go three inches down. So out here, we'll go three inches down. And we're about, the middle of our thing is about two inches, just shy. So that's our mark.
So now that we have our holes drilled through, this bar is going to come through here and it's going to come right through our other side. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and take our roll and end up putting it right here. Get yourself a good pair of gloves because now the, we want to get our barbed wire and put it on our new rack. So right now, we have our new rack, and now it's as simple as pulling this right off. So now we're going to go to our fence line, and we're going to put this thing to work. So believe it or not, what we have here is our fence line, where we've had a lot of goats get out recently. So we have one small one. Miss Daisy over there. So Miss Daisy is our slick goat and she has been making it between this hot wire and what we're going to do is take this barbed wire and come right underneath this hot wire so that it's not as easy as a jump through there because she's basically jumping through there so quick the fence is not even able to shock her. So now we have our rig here. Now we're just going to take our barbed wire just pull pull our line all the way out and now we've made it to the end of where we want and we're going to end up putting it right in here I hope you found this tip helpful something quick and easy like this sometimes is all you need to finish a job Justin from Stonewoods Farm, we'll see you next time.